gonna mickle. Ah, yeah, having Alt on makes it easier to see what I can interact with, huh? Now that I have the ghoul information, I should probably switch it back to nighttime. Sometime, but maybe not right this moment. I can also pick up some herbs. Awesome. Can we unlock those places? I don't imagine so, but um, hmm. I don't know. Am I going the right way? Hopefully. Nope, I gotta do control. They're trying to make me use control and alt at the same time, which is a little bit difficult. <laughs> Here we go. And then over here. Yep. Almost there. Just a little bit more. Why not? Why not? Herbs along the way. It's you again. It's a weird thing. Yup. Merchant gate. We saw a ghoul here before too, at nighttime. Hey, Mikkel? Right there. Halt! Wah! What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a. what do they call that? A, a, a quarter line. Will it last long, this quarantine? <laughs> commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes. They're allowed in. I see. Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Yes, he does. Of course. Oh, I don't believe you. He give you anything? Of course. The Reverend said, worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. Mm-hmm. This guy doesn't seem the brightest. <laughs> the Reverend said you could use my help. Hmm. Uh, I've been told to get rid of those deadens. Deadens? Yeah. Commander told me to clear the crypt down the road. Oh. I've never fought beasts before. Too scared. Hmm. Deadens, you say? Please, sir. Deadens. Ghouls. <gasps> Orans, yes. I'm a witcher, so I'll rid you of the fiends, but in exchange, you'll pay me 200 Orans and tell the Reverend I helped you. Sure, sir. Uh, I'll tell him what I know, which will be little, and I don't have much gold, neither, but no matter, just so long as the Deadens are slayed. Eh? 200. See you later. 200, and no less. Mikkel. I must kill the ghouls in the crypt at Mikkel's request. The Reverend said, worship the fire sign. Seems he did send you. Can I get a pass from all this? Where might I get a pass? The Order of the Burning Roses got passes. The Eternal Fire fights the plague. I've seen no knights here. Would the Reverend know anything? He knows a lot. Wouldn't hurt to ask. Farewell. Order of Burning Roses. Alright, gonna save, just in case. I'm kinda paranoid now. <laughs> the re Got any problems around here? Well, that Cartiona or whatnot. Damn plague's been about killing folk. And we got monsters too. Monsters? What kind? Well, there's wolves. Lots of them. There's the deadens, and there's elves and kobolds. Wolves, you say? Oh, heaps of them, sir. And them much have gone wild. It used to be I could pelt them with rocks. No, I'm just afraid. I see. Huh? How is this guy respected? He can't do anything around here. Do you want to gamble, though? I found these strange dice. Dwarven handiwork. Don't know what folks have said, but I quit playing long ago, I, I swear. Relax, Mikkel. I'm just asking. The Reverend can tell you I burn my box and renounce the devil. Talk to the dwarf, Zoltan. Yeah. You say you burned your dice, but I think you're lying. 
I'd never, Zoltan <laughs> told me. Don't worry, I play the game too. Phew, <laughs> you had me there, would you? Uh, come by for a game sometime. Dully is just standing here all day. Zor, right now. Yup. Okay. Uh, I'm feeling kind of rich right now, but I don't want to like waste my fortune away. No. This is too high risk. I got a pair. What is that? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Risky, risky. We will roll these three. No, nothing. God damn it. Well, it was only three. Only six orins. Two pairs. Mm, maybe I'll bet a little bit more on this one? I don't know. No, no, no. Let's play it safe. That sort of thinking is how you lose your fortune. So no, no. Nothing. God damn it. Oh no. See? See? If I had put all my money in for that one, <laughs> that would not be good. I lost. Oh, but losing doesn't increase the ch Oh. I got to win. I got to win. Try that again. Uh, the chessboard is messed up. <laughs> Whatever. We can still play. A pair. Mm. Yay! All right. Two pairs and two pairs. We can just play it safe. I won! I beat Mikkel. I need another opponent. Later on, later on. For now, we're gonna go to the crypt, but where is the crypt? It's gotta be on the map somewhere. Uh, right here. Okay, so straight down the path, pretty much. Let's go. We can get some ghoul blood, too. So this is gonna be great. Alright. Think I'm going the right way? Do I need to collect all of this? Because right now, I haven't even done any alchemy yet, so maybe I don't need to be so diligent in collecting every one of it. But I will anyway. No, nope. <laughs> that one's gone. Right around the corner. There's a... There's a spot of power here too, a place of power. Woo! Hmm, I guess it hasn't come back yet, huh? Or, uh, it's right by the tree. No, it's not here. Alright. Doesn't matter. Whoa! Never mind, it's right here. We haven't done combat in a while now, too. Okay. Sign intensity increased. Right. We have the key this time. Let's get going. Remember, I can use the Ard. Seems the contents of that bottle caused the woman's death. 
the ghouls came for her remains. Is that Vesna? Drink the cat potion or light a torch to improve visibility in dark areas like caves and crypts. Oh, whoa. How do I light a torch? Because I don't think I have a cat potion. Swallow. We have an unknown potion. Probably not wise to randomly drink it. Yeah, I would like to light a torch, but I don't know how. Hello? Geralt's endurance, as indicated by the yellow bar, drops each time you use a sign. Drop by half. You can't cast signs when endurance is too low. Okay. Oh, did I miss it? Whatever. There we go. Blood? Ghoul blood. Good. The girl's corpse must have lured the ghouls. Seems the content of that bottle caused her death. Do you want to pick it up? I think I picked it up. Uh, oh, right here. Oh. Alright. We can't loot her? No? <laughs> there is a torch there, but I don't know how to get that torch. Just going in the darkness seems like a bad idea, though. Whoa! Yeah, like that. That's a bad idea. You hit it? I think I got it. But it's so dark. Blood. We need how much blood again? Like three? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little apprehensive about going so deep inside. Hmm. Is there anything we can do? Um, I'm gonna try going outside, because I know there's a fireplace outside before we go in here. If we can use the fireplace, maybe we can make the cat's eye potion? Cat. Celandine. Ducal water. Mandrake root. Very unfortunately, I don't think we have those things. Do we? Oh, no we do. Mandrake root. That's white vinegar. Mmm... Wait, it seems like I can make it. Oh! Well, uh... Great. <laughs> okay, we can try that out then. Save. Just in case. <laughs> Alright. Did the ghoul come back? Cat potion. Are we good? Yes! Beautiful! So that girl, I wonder if she killed herself then, because she might have drank poison, which is why there is a little vial there. Wait, whoa! go. Ghoul blood? I was trying to look at that place of power. Not that, but okay. Kalkstein? Who is that again? Have we met that person? I don't seem to remember them. Do we just want to perform it again? Why not, I guess? Since it increases my... My sign powers, I should really be using it more often, huh? Whoa. Ah! Whoa! Hold on, hold on. 
Yes, the Ard. Trying to use the group style here. You! Oh! No! You're still alive! Oh! Look at my health! That was scary! At least I can get all of that though. Oh my god. And the last one. Ugh. These. Whoa, there's another corpse here. Is that okay? I'm just randomly looting people? Sure, I guess. <laughs> oh! Circle of Inner Fire. You have learned the Igni sign, which can be used to cause damage to opponents and to light fires. Choose a sign on the left of the screen. Right click on the target to cast a sign. Ah, oh, okay. So I think we can also use one, two, three, four, five. Four. This is four. Cool. Can we try it out? On something here? Nothing's here. This seems pretty good. I'll keep it in mind. Let's get back to Mikkel then. Oh? Leave me be. I won't surrender my workshop for all the treasure in the world. Oh, you'll give it up, Gramps. Or else. Or what? A witcher! Kill him! Not likely. Are you serious? Oh! You're ours, witcher. You should have left Salamandra alone. This bridge will be your grave. I'm innocent. Whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on. I'm not even at full health right now because of fighting with the ghouls. You can't do this to me. How do I heal up? Which is the one that makes me heal up? Yeah, swallow potion. Okay. How about that? Hold on, okay? Let me switch to group style. Maybe that'll work best here. Whoa, look at my health though. I'm just way too... I didn't expect this ambush at all. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying, man. We good? Whoa! You're a shit eater. Oh, that was close. Thank you, Witcher. You saved me and my laboratory, my beakers, my treasures. Anytime. I know all too well what they're after. Mutagens. To use the stolen secrets, Salamandra needs equipment. Without it, the Witcher's mutagens are useless. They almost grabbed Kalkstein and his treasures. They almost succeeded at Kaer Morin. Almost makes a huge difference. If I had stayed and fought the Frightener with Vesemir, I might have faced a different threat today. Oh. They were here for me. I made a choice some time back. Had you known this would happen, would you have chosen differently? Knowing what would happen, though? You mean the fact that they ambushed me at the bridge? 
Like, which choice are you talking about specifically? I guess not, because either way, something bad was gonna happen. No. It was the right decision, and I'll deal with the consequences. I'm not surprised at your answer. You don't seem like one to look back. Visit my shop in Vizima for any ingredients you need for your potions at a discount. Farewell. Thank you. Shouldn't have defended the old man. You come talking again. What are you going on about? The old man comes here and talks and talks. Gives me headache. I'll stone him next time. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Who was that? Captain said, only admit those with passes. I know, I know. They're moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. If you have a pass, look for me there. Millgate. Was that Kalkstein? Who was... I really don't think I met that guy before. I'm sleeping. It is. How dare he call our club a band of senile old men? I'll appeal it in writing. What brings you here? Something might be wrong here. I got the quest of collecting the ghoul blood from a notice, but I haven't met him before, but they're acting like I met him before. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I do. Relax. Pay first. I need that blood for my research. Well, pay up. Pay up. 100. Not bad. Not bad. Basics of alchemy. Not letting me in? The Oxenfurt Inventors Club must have bribed them. Is that your opponent? What brings you here? Good thing we saved him then, huh? Because if we didn't, then we wouldn't get that reward for the ghoul blood. You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city which are a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. <laughs> I think I see the point now. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely in. important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me, they must. So maybe we were supposed to meet him at the inn, but of the two times we've been to the inn, we never saw him. I wonder if, um, because the innkeeper, when we first went in, he was like, oh, people go home at, or people go to their rooms at night. So maybe the time of day makes a difference here. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it, if the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. <laughs> ah, typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Oh. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. <laughs> One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? 
responsible for the body's processes. I feel like that's chemical processes, not alchemical processes, but okay, sure. We actually haven't done too much of alchemy aside from that cat potion, so this might be a good chance to learn a little bit more. How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. What? And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? <laughs> I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. I think I have some of that. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. I think he just gave me a book, but I haven't read it yet. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. Uh, sure, okay. I think I've heard enough. <laughs> but we've only just begun! No, don't tell me all your secrets, because then I won't have a need for you anymore. Farewell. Basics of alchemy To understand alchemy, you must first understand two great truths. First truth, as above, so below. Second truth, everything is one. These truths teach that alchemical substances are everywhere around us, in field herbs, in human and animal bowels, even in rocks. This is because alchemy is life, and life is alchemy. Once you understand alchemical processes, you will understand the processes of life, and the world of nature will become an open book. Yet alchemy is also knowledge. Does the potion require a flower or a leaf? Where is vermilion found? In the kidney or the eye? These questions are answered by books. Therefore, read both the old masters and the new works. Practice your herbalist skills in mixing oils and powders. However, first and foremost experiment, because the greatest discoveries in alchemy have come about through experimentation. Cool. Okay. We haven't read the glossary in a while now, have we? Oh yeah. Oh. There's a lot here. Hmm. Maybe maybe some other time. I don't feel like reading right now. I want to play a little bit first. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that. So we're I think we're at the point where we're just clearing up some quests cuz we still haven't been back to the Reverend yet. And we can probably hand some stuff into him. Dice. We can play with Heron and Odo. Beringer is inside the city. Buried memories. Oh. He's at Miller's Gate. Mikkel. He got moved. Oh. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Fist fight. Go to the Reverend. Go to the Reverend. I should see Mikkel. Mikkel is right here. Mikkel's right here. Huh? I got rid of the ghouls in the crypt. A uh, hundred thanks, Master. Here be a month's pay. Whoa. Oh, the boys will be happy. <laughs> they plan to search for treasure in the crypt. Take a pick to one of the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Young woman? No. It can't be. My Elsa, I, I, I loved her. I wouldn't know her name. It appears she poisoned herself. Oh. No, no, no. It was that vile witch. The devil's whore poisoned my Ilsa. No. I'm sorry for your loss, but I need to know about Salamandra. They have passes, they do. The only ones leave me be. You have the evil eye, you bring bad tidings! Be gone! Don't forget to tell the Reverend I got rid of those ghouls. Farewell. <laughs> so the Salamandra people have passes to get into the city, which means they're in the city. Alright. Wasn't there another reason I needed to talk to you for? Elsa, my love. Oh. 
Poor guy. Well, uh, hang in there. Kalkstein, if you get a pass, let me know, okay? Because I want one too. Okay, save. <laughs> so paranoid now. And now I think we don't have to make it nighttime anymore, but we should probably go back to the Reverend because we have a lot of quests that require talking to him. Yep, he should be... We can go see Heron along the way too and beat him at poker. Yeah, we're all good here. Oh my god! He needs this. Hey. Oh, so the steel dagger? Can we not put it in the inventory? That really sucks. Because what if I want to sell some of them, but then I can never pick these up? What? Pretty lame. <gasps> Steel sword. Cool. Oh, there's so many here that I can't take because no one around me is a merchant. Yeah, like, <laughs> my inventory is not full. Look at this. I can't take it. Can I, like, rearrange this? In a way that makes you wanna... Hold on. No? That's so sad! All this money! I can't... I can't take it. Oh, look at that. Can I... Do you think I can go to Heron, sell all this stuff, and then come back? Maybe? Okay, well, uh, I'll give it a try. We need to talk to Heron here anyway. And to be honest, I don't feel like we need to use those other swords at all. Which one's better anyway? Damage based on combat style. Damage minus 20%. You probably don't wanna... Probably don't wanna use it. What do I have right now? Swallow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I noticed earlier that Swallow doesn't give me instant regeneration, just accelerates the rate. Not quite what I'm looking for. I'm not quite sure how to get instant healing yet. Heron. Oh, everyone's hiding in the... <laughs> in the shade. Even the beggars. Oh, that scared me! <gasps> yeah, where's Heron? Inside his house? What the hell? Witcher! Ooh. Any other work for a witcher? Hmm, I c c could probably find something. I need a parcel delivered to Vesima, to a man named Coleman at the Hairy Bear Tavern. No questions asked. Sure. How much money? Give me the package. I'll drop it off. C Coleman will pay you. That sounds... okay. Our mutual friend Zoltan sent me. So he's g got you hooked too? Clever little r runt. You've no idea what you're getting into. B worse than fist tech. Relax. Fist tech? I only play when I want to. That's what they all say. So, shall we? Yes, we shall. And I'm gonna beat you, maybe. Whoa, look at my money rolling in. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There's no skill involved in this though, is there? No, that's not true. Because you gotta decide which ones you wanna keep and not. Oh, not looking good for me. But still, there's a degree of chance and luck here. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god, the bets are getting bigger. Yeah! Two pairs. That's, uh, probably worse than three of a kind. <laughs> no! Oh my god! 58. I'm too poor for this. What the hell? What do we got? Nothing. One pair? Zero, please. Yes. Two pairs. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh my god. Dude, I'm losing all my money. 
<laughs> I can't beat this guy. Do I want to try again? No, I want to I want to sell you some stuff. You don't have a you're not a merchant. Hmm. Okay. Farewell. Um I was hoping that I could find a merchant around here so I can sell some stuff and try to pick up those steel swords again, but I'm afraid they might have disappeared already. Cuz it was all the way over there. Oh my gosh. Can't see a thing. Okay, well uh Where's the nearest merchant? Gosh dang it. Okay. One quick way for us to verify if the weapons despawn that quickly is this house right here. This house, I first found a steel dagger. Is it still there? No, it's not. It's gone. Okay, whatever. It's gone. Uh, in that case, maybe I'll just go back and fight, or not fight, but um, gamble with Heron a little bit more. See if we can squeeze a win out here. Come on, come on. Pretty good. Three of a kind. <gasps> Full house! Oh! Okay. That's, that's pretty good, right? It's gotta be pretty good. Okay, sure. <laughs> 40. He was too scared to bet more. Hey, that's also something, isn't it? No, I got nothing. Nothing. Exit game and lose current bet. Oh, okay. I never noticed this button here, but I guess we can also do that. Oh, uh, nah. We'll keep going. Roll everything. <laughs> End up with one pair. All right. I'm done. Oh my god. What is that? Three of a kind. Three of a kind versus two pairs. Which one's better actually? I would assume three of a kind, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh! Pretty damn good. Yes! I won! I beat Heron. I should look for other people. Cool! Well, that was that. Alright. Whoa, why am I looking all like... Is it the effects of the potion? Hmm. Well, let's forget the metal swords. Oh, hey, Heron. <laughs> we also have the, um... We gotta go back to the Reverend. And we also gotta level up sometime. Which maybe we should do right now. Oh, we can use the Igni sign, right? Maybe not around other people? Three bronze talents. Mm, damage plus 50%. That would have been really good for me right earlier, because I had really low health. Oh. Hang on. Can I not do it? I can't add it. That's weird. Oh, because it requires the consumption of a mutagen. Don't know what that is just yet. No. Repel? Fist fight? Stamina? Poison resistance? Seems pretty good. I don't use signs enough for me to think about. Now let's just get the regeneration. Sure. No one here wants to do anything special with me? No? Alright. Let's get back to the reverend then. Speak quickly. I carried the eternal fire to all the chapels. The beasts still haunt us! I told you it wouldn't work. Where's my payment? Ah, yes, your payment. The curse must be stronger than I thought. 
doubtless caused by that witch Abigail, an evil woman. A witch? Maybe she can tell us more. She brought the beast and all other calamities upon us. How? Perhaps, but I'd rather speak with her first. We must know from whence the beast came. Learn the truth. I will, for 300 orans. Our community's poor. Perhaps 200? So be it. 250. <laughs> Is a witch different from a sorceress? We can probably find that out from the glossary, huh? No witcher, no witches. Are there female witchers? Would that be a witch? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we'll read that some other time. Speak quickly. Odo's and Heron's monsters are gone. For Mikkel, I cleared the crypt of ghouls. I must admit I'm impressed. You may yet defeat Salamandra. To do that, I need to know where to find them. I will say nothing until you eliminate the Beast Witcher. That is my condition. I'll see you later. So I gotta talk to Abby. Yum. Speak quickly. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I have drowner heads. My reward? Here. May the eternal fire illuminate your path. The church is not... <laughs> I was just gonna say the church is not so poor after all, huh? And he immediately runs away. Speak quickly. I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes. But as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You? A stranger? A drifter? Have you lost your mind? Order of the Burning Roses? Did they say before? Yeah, I think we just need to talk to Abby first. Delivering a package. Alright. Yeah. This one? I should talk to the most prominent residents. It seems like I still haven't completed it. I don't know how to. I feel like I've talked to them already, but maybe not. Okay. Let's find... Yes. Let's find Abby. We don't need to track her. We know where she is. Yeah, oh, like just no. looking around, it doesn't seem like... Why are the poor girls and boys in per uh, in green? You're it. <laughs> You're it. <laughs> hmm. Knights should fight monsters. Witches are crude. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's get to Abby. Oh, you guys just. I'm off to play. Come again. Having a bite. What do you want? I need to know where the beast came from. Why ask me? Aren't witches wise in the ways of magic? Yes, but this beast is beyond me. Although, I know someone else. Who would that be? The boy Alvin. He's a strong source and a diviner. What he knows we could not hope to imagine. However, if I were to give him a certain potion... Won't it hurt him? No need to fret, he'll be fine. Bring me the petals of five white myrtle and your oh questions God. will be answered. Myrtle grows outside the village. If you lack knowledge of herbs, I have this book. It's yours for a price. <laughs> you want me to pay for something that you're going to give me? Yeah, I figured this one out already. Yeah. Oh my lord. Five white myrtle petals. Do I know about that? I honestly don't know. Ingredients? Where do I see what herbs I know? White myrtle petals? I think I know it already. Yeah, petals of a common field plant with a big... If I have it here, it means I know it, right? I think so? Okay, cool. What do you want? The Reverend believes you summoned the beast. And what do you believe? Nothing yet. What's your side of the story? <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. 
That's it. The witch says she's innocent. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Aww. Not much else we can do on that front, hmm. What about the petals? Where is that one? This one. Oh, it's right here. Two separate little things when in one quest. Okay. Apparently it's at the inn. Well, let's head over there, I guess. I'm going to be a witcher too. No, you're you're something else. We still have no clue what that doll is for, but okay, sure. Oh, white myrtle, right outside her house. Seriously? It's like right here. Oh my god. I should see the witch again. <laughs> that was literally right outside her house, what the heck. Yeah, hey, Abby, I'm back. What do you want? I gathered the myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? Interested in witch's secrets, are you? The recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. I swear. Draw close and listen. Blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> I knew witch's magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. I should return in a while. Is she drinking? What is she doing? Are you done now? Do I actually have to leave? Come back later. I'm busy. Okay. Is going outside and coming back in enough? What do you want? Is the potion ready? Yes. <laughs> Alvin, drink this. Tastes bitter. No complaining. Now, speak. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. Bad children torturing the witch's puppy again. <laughs> Innocent blood. Evil face is twisted by drink and desire. Plow her well. Show her you're a man. Uh. Bloodstained gold. The beast is born! Death. The final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death. It is death. How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Who is summoning me? Enough. This could end badly. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the seven spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone. Oh, I'm sleepy. <laughs> mm. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another witcher, Berengar, preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Farewell. There's a lot of crazy things going on with the hair today, huh? Okay. Was that Alvin channeling the beast? Or like, I don't even... I'm not sure I quite understand what we actually saw there. We should sell that book. Oh my god. And we have too many dice boxes too. Can we drop some of these? Maybe? Beringer's notes on the beast. Hold on. A hastily written journal, document, probably drafted by the Witcher while he was preparing to fight the beast. First night, 95 kilograms of muscle, height around 4.5 feet, fangs the length of a man's thumb, to be avoided. Shares characteristics with Alzer's demon. Second night, 
summons Barghists with its howling. Didn't we see that? Has the ability to disappear, probably by assuming spectral or spiritual form, can only be seen with the help of a potion. Third Knight, highly resistant to iron and signs, walked right over three Yurdans without noticing. Fourth Knight, all features of Alzer's demons confirmed. The beast asks a question, those who answer correctly stand a chance of slaying it. I feel like we saw the second knight already. He randomly appeared, and then he disappeared. But then, if he asks a question, I don't know how to answer him. Hmm. Was there a new thing in here? No, I don't think so. I don't really feel like we're getting closer to solving this whole beast thing. It seems like we're getting dead ends everywhere, so we'll have to find a breakthrough somewhere. But I think we gotta go back to the Reverend now. I could drink. Have we met? Perhaps. I lost my memory. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. The little medic will care for you. Shani can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcanes. Oh. If you say so. I hadn't sufficient coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My business has grown, so I'll pay this old debt. I could use the gold. Here's 100 orins. <gasps> Thank you. Wow, I got that from randomly talking to people here. Wow. Oh, it was very nice of him. <laughs> you got any more? I've no work for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I'm on the way to the Reverend, and I think we are getting close. Getting closer. Stay away from that witch, Abigail. The whole place hates her. Like, sometimes for me right now is that I can't tell who's important and who's not. Because that random traveler guy, I really rush. didn't expect him to randomly give me money, but he did. So, should I be talking to pretty much every single person here? Damn squirrels! Assaulting convoys like during the war! It's kinda time consuming though. Simpletons all around. Speak quickly. I know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? The beast appeared because of human wickedness. Oh! To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray, the Good Shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise, they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, Witcher. Two hundred orans. I've done all you asked. Where's the Salamandra hideout? Go to the inn, where a group of Salamandra's service has taken over. Oh. They hide in the old house. Olaf will have the key. And Witcher? Yes? Nothing. May the eternal fire shine on your soul. Tell the villagers to stay at home now. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. So the beast is here because of human wickedness. Like sinning. Look how much money we have now. Not that. Look at that. Pretty good. One of the abandoned homes. Alright. Before we do that, I feel like we should go visit Odo. Cause I wanna I wanna get the dice thing out of the way. So let's go talk to him, win, and then go to the inn. Oh? I'm on the way of walking to Odo's house right now. Which is over here. But there's Salamandra people in front of this abandoned house. Oh. Should I go engage in them? Um, usually Salamandra stuff is related to the main quest, right? So maybe I'll put them off for now, and um, yeah, let's go to Odo first. And once we get to Odo's, I think that'll probably be a good time to look into the glossary a little bit too, because I haven't read it for a while. There's probably a lot of new stuff now. Mm. The inn? We can't go there yet, because that's also part of the main quest. But I want to find a merchant so that I can sell my stuff. Gosh. There's so many things I gotta do. Oh. 
Odo? Huh. We still don't know what's up with this field. I'm pressing Alt right now, but there's nothing around here. I don't know why. Oh! Oh. What? Locked? But we came here at nighttime before, when Odo was sleeping. And it wasn't locked then. What? Doghouse is here? Is Odo just not home? Oh, well that's uh... That's putting an obstacle in my dice poker plans. <laughs> um... I wonder if there's actually other people other than Odo, because it doesn't actually say, hey, go beat Odo specifically. But in any case, I don't know who to beat, so... Well, what should we do now? I guess I'll try maybe... Maybe switching it to nighttime? Maybe he'll be home by night? I got no clue, man. Wait, we gotta find like a... Where's the nearest place that we can find a fireplace? Because we can't go inside the house here. We can't meditate anywhere. Oh, there's one here. Okay. Right here. Um, can I try using the Igni sign to light the fire? Maybe not, because I can't get into combat mode right now. <laughs> yeah, usually I press 4 for Igni, but I can't, um, I can't even get my sword out. Can I? Witcher Steel Sword. Temerian Steel Sword. Yeah, we know this. I still haven't tried any of the other swords. I've been using the Witcher Steel Sword the whole time. I mean, it seems like it's okay, so whatever, I guess. Yeah, Igni sign? I can't press it right now. Okay, whatever. I'll just use a flint. Oh, new talents! Okay, cool. So, new talents... Three? What do we want to put them in now? Hmm... You know, this one might not actually be that bad, but we don't know what a mutagen is yet, still. Hmm. We have all of these already. All the ones in strength, right? Yeah, okay. Dexterity. We have all of them again. Except for the one that needs a mutagen. Stamina. Uh, we can draw from the places of power more, but at the moment, I'm not really finding that to be all that useful, so I don't know about that. Poison resistance? Why not? It's too late if we wait until we're poisoned to get this resistance. Yeah. Intelligence? Creation of oils? I'm gonna leave that one alone. Mm, I don't know. Well, I suppose, why not? Why not? Get it out of the way. Igni. Damage plus 10%. Yeah, so for... Hmm... For the... Weapons, I was advised to do group because it's, um, when we have one-on-one, -on -one, it's more easy for us to block and stuff, right? So it's not as likely that we'll die to a one-on-one -on -one opponent, but group, group is when my health drains really fast. And that actually happened earlier when we were on the bridge, so maybe I should put a point in group? And that would be more important than signs, I think, because these ones I have to use every combat battle, but signs, I tend to forget them more often than not. <laughs> Um, damage plus 20% sounds amazing. Oh. Second attack in sequence. Attack plus 40%. Damage plus 20%. I don't really know what the all the precise terms mean. Like attack, precise hit, damage. What's the difference between all these? I don't really know, but uh, I guess I'll do this one. This one has a lot of numbers, so it sounds like it's good. <laughs> sure, okay. So that's gonna be all my talents for now, but why not look at, um... Alchemy? Why not? Oh. Is there any potion I want to make right now? I have put a bit of... hang on. Blizzard? White Gull? Unknown potion. I guess we don't have the entry for that. That's why we don't know about it. Swallow. And that's pretty much all we got. Tawny Owl? Significantly increases endurance and regeneration. If we don't have it... I don't see why not. Sure. <laughs> Frightener's Vision. Oh, 
Oh, mutagenic potion grants one bronze talent. Oh, is this what they meant by requires mutagen? Yeah, let's make this one. Do we have the ingredients? You know what? I have no idea how to tell if we... <laughs> like, what do all these mean? I think this is part of the mod, all the color coding. But, um... So far, I've really just been pressing the mix button and hoping that I have the ingredients for it. But it seems to be working out so far, so... Whatever, I guess. White Myrtle, we have that. Celadine, yeah. Mandrake Root, I think so? Frightener's Eye. Did we pick that up earlier? Yeah, we did. Yeah. I guess we can make this. Alright, cool. So, if I drink that... Ooh. Hey, White Gull Mild Witcher's Hallucinogen. What does that mean? I guess we should look into that a little bit later, huh? Okay, cool. Do we want another cat potion, just in case? Because we're not always going to be near a fireplace to make this. Why not? <laughs> I'm just making everything I can. Why not? These are ingredients. Vermilion. Okay. Cool, cool. Anyway, anything for me to read? No. Nope. Alchemy. The map. Journal. Right. So, so far, for the dice, I don't know where the hell... Oh, this one's a different one. A game of dice. Uh, I guess this one's related to this one. But we don't know where Odo is, so I'm gonna put that one off for now. Beringer's secret. We gotta get into Vizima. Fist fight? I just kind of arbitrarily assumed this, but um... Since we beat this first guy in the inn, I think the second fist fight is gonna be in the second inn, which I'm assuming there's one in Vizima. So if I'm right, then we put this one off for now too. Hot potato. Parcel to Vizima. Okay, we're slowly moving into like the Vizima territory, huh? It's time I dealt with the Salamandra. There are some things I need to do. Hmm. Going to the inn probably, waiting for a solution. The Reverend revealed the location of the Salamandra hideout. He also claims I'll find the key to their lair at the inn, given to me by Olaf, who for some reason has the key. Okay. Wanted. Warrant for the Professor. Vizima. Witcher Secrets. I must enter the Salamandra hideout. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of repeat quests, or what seems like repeat quests anyway, like this one, and maybe this one. They're both going to the inn. I don't know why it's like that. And the dice. There's two dice quests. It kind of clogs things up a little bit, my quest log, but whatever. All we need to know is that there's three primary quests that really matter. Okay. Characters. Beringar. Vesemir mentioned a witcher who had left Kaer Morin before my arrival. His name is Berengar. Berengar was seen in the outskirts earlier. He agreed to kill the beast, but then disappeared. Did he fear facing the monster? He's a witcher, so I don't think he would fear that. But maybe... I don't know where he is. We don't know... We don't even know what he looks like, so even if we run into him, we might not necessarily know who he is. Heron Brog. A suspicious character who fears only the Reverend. He sneers at the law and surrounds himself with thugs who protect his shady dealings. Brog lives in the outskirts, in a little lakeside settlement that he rules outright. He never strays far from his home. Oh, I never noticed that, but that's totally true. Big fish in a small pond, something something. Brog runs a store trading in weapons. Yeah, so he was the merchant. Did I just not see the merchant sign earlier? Oh, whatever. An alchemical ingredients used to produce bombs. Wait, that's what the crates were, right? So we just gave the elves a bunch of bombs? Uh oh. <laughs> Mikkel. A widely respected guard. Why? I don't know. Oh, because he has become a city guard. And that's quite a career for someone from the outskirts. Oh, because he's employed by the city. He seems lazy and lecherous. He cares little about the problems of the outskirts and tends only to his own interests. By day, Mikkel stands guard at the gate to Vizima. People don't actually respect him then. He just has a good job, that's all. He's not... He's not worthy of respect, man. Lazy, lecherous. Okay. Odo. 
The wealthiest person in the outskirts, I can tell, is a grim drunkard who inherited a fortune from his brother. Oh, inherited? So his brother died? Odo is distrustful and stingy. He lives at the end of the village in a house surrounded by a fence with a high gate. Alone? Mm -hmm. Not like the commoners. Reverend. The leader of the community in the outskirts is a domineering priest in the eternal fire called the Reverend. His authority reaches well beyond the realm of the spiritual. People from the town and village in the outskirts do exactly what he says. The Reverend is a religious fanatic and a hypocrite. He easily finds guilt where it doesn't exist, ignoring real offenses. Is that why everyone is so obsessed with Abigail? The Reverend lives in the town, just left of the temple. During the day, he either prays or tends to the church. We still haven't been able to get into the church this whole time. <laughs> Vesna A bar made from the tavern in the outskirts. Vesna is quite a determined girl. She sells food and alcohol. Hmm? Sure. Zoltan Shive I helped the dwarf, being attacked by racists. He recognized me as an old friend of his. The dwarf's name is Zoltan Shive. He claims to have witnessed my death years ago in Rivia. Zoltan seems reasonable and pragmatic. He takes the world with a grain of salt and sees irony in most things. Just like other non-humans, he also seems vexed by the racist atmosphere in Temeria. Mmm. So we haven't been to very many places in Temeria so far, but the population looks like it's 95% human. And then you have like a dwarf in the middle of nowhere, like the blacksmith guy and this guy. And then a witcher in the middle of nowhere. And then elves who hide in the woods and comes out once in a blue moon. So definitely, um, all of these races here are the minority and humans are all still afraid of them. Hmm. Ooh, lots of locations now. Temeria, that would be a good one to look at. Temeria's population is not exclusively human. Oh, pfft, just what we were talking about. It also includes dwarves, elves, gnomes, and dryads. After the devastating war with Nilfgaard, many areas are haunted by monsters, which have hitherto not constituted a serious threat, while the realm's roads are made unsafe by outlaws and common bandits. Wait, so who won the war? Hmm. As a result, the witcher profession is once again in demand, though people continue to treat witchers with caution and disdain, often calling them mutants and freaks. The kingdom of Temeria has silver lilies on a black background as its emblem. This powerful country has gained ever more influence in recent years under the wise rule of King Foltest. Oh! Across the Pontar River, the kingdom borders Redania, to the south and east, it is hemmed in by mountain ranges, including Mahakam, the mainstay of dwarves and gnomes, past which lie the lands of Lyria and Ered Ered Adrin, probably the elves. The capital of Temeria is Vizima, lying on the shore of Lake Vizima. The second largest city is Maribor. Temeria mints its own coin, the Orin. Oh, well, judging by how we have Orins, Probably we're gonna stay in Temeria the whole game, huh? The most widespread religions are the cult of... Malightly? I don't know how you pronounce that. But I think um, Geralt has a friend. A priestess friend in that cult. Or a religion, I should say. <laughs> and the belief in the eternal fire. Temeria is home to the headquarters and many commanderies of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Okay, cool. The outskirts? Like any large city, Vizima also has its own outskirts. Near the city walls stand the houses of townspeople who could not afford to live in the city or could not stand the stench of its gutters. A little further out, among fields and meadows, peasants have their thatched roofed homes. Unfortunately, the hard times have left their mark on the outskirts. Many houses are vacant, their owners killed in the war. Oh, so that's why we see empty houses slain by monsters or taken by the plague, which ravages the area. Huh. So that's kind of interesting because I... Reading this, I would assume that the monsters won the war, but then people are still the main population here. Guess I gotta read to the end of the books to find out what happened there. Harry Bear Inn. Oh. 
There's two inns. What? Okay. The inn in the outskirts was established to cater to the needs of travelers and merchants headed for Vizima. The owner has surrounded it with a high palisade. Although the inn doesn't feature extravagant comforts, it is a safe place to spend the night and eat a meal. The innkeeper also offers a wide selection of alcohol. It is a favorite meeting place for the inhabitants of the outskirts. So there's always someone to talk to or dice with. I feel like it's the only meeting place for people in the outskirts, but okay, sure. Only can be favorite too. <laughs> Harry Bear Inn. Oh, where's that? A place for indiscriminate clientele. The innkeeper obviously holds back on the lie, though he waters down the ale generously enough. Patrons share the thin mattresses with rats, but most everyone can find their entertainment of choice here. Illegal fistfight enthusiasts, hustlers, and drunkards will all find something to do at the Hairy Bear. Judging by that little picture here, I'm gonna guess that's the inn in Zyphizima. Crypt! There is an old crypt in the outskirts, and it has not been used for a long time. People are afraid to enter it because of the monsters that dwell there. Rumor has it that treasure is hidden inside the crypt. The truth is that people of old were buried there with valuable items. Sometimes the graves of the wealthy were separated from the remainder of the crypt by an additional wall for fear of robbery. So why was that lady down there by herself anyway? It was just kind of weird how she died. Oh well. Hellhound. Yes, we got that entry from Abby. Occurrence. Might appear wherever dishonorable people live. Ooh. Yeah, so human sinning. Immune to most effects, a corporal creature. So knockdown or stun attempts are possible, yet rarely successful. Sensitive to steel, the fast style is most effective against hellhounds. Okay. Able to summon barghests, not a good thing. A hellhound traps its victims in a circle of fire and proceeds to tear them to pieces. Ooh. Iridescent mark. The hellhound, referred to also as the beast, is a creature of the underworld, a specter that assumes the form of a terrifying hound and tirelessly stalks its victims once it finds their trail. Peasants believe that the hellhound embodies the vengeance of the gods who send the beast to punish humans for their wickedness. Ah, so that's where Geralt got the information from, because I was wondering, where do we hear that hellhounds punish wicked people? Okay. So is someone in the outskirts being wicked then? And I guess everyone assumes it's Abby, because she's a witch. She's an easy, easy scapegoat, I guess. 